assalamu alaikum my dear student uh, welcome to my uh, fourth lecture so in this lecture uh, i will discuss about the immunity and its classification so immunity can be defined as it is uh, the capability or tendency of the body to show resistance against all kinds of infections all kinds of infectious agents are the quality or the state of being immune so immune mean protected in condition of being able to resist a particular disease especially through preventing development of an pathogenic microorganism or by contracting the effect of its products so in simple words we can say that immunity actually it is the tendency or capability of a body that how much resistance how much resistance shows by your body against uh, pathogens pathogens may be in the form of bacteria it may be in the form of virus it may be in the form of antigen it may be in the form of anything <coughs> your body system it cannot be activated whenever certain pathogens microorganism toxin it can attack from outside environment so definitely it may directly stimulate your immune systems now come to all types of immunity there are basically two types of immunity one is active immunity the second one is passive immunity now what is active immunity active immunity occur when our own immune system is responsible for protecting us from pathogens so active immunity this immunity is already present from the time of your birth for example antibody production so antibody they are produced against antigen substances capable of stimulating the formation of antibodies in passive immunity passive immunity occurs when we are protected from pathogen by immunity gain from someone else for example when a person receive antibodies in the form of an injection like gamma globulin injection now come towards uh, uh in this slide uh, we will talk about adaptive immunity now what is adaptive immunity adaptive immunity is further divided into two one is naturally acquired immunity one is artificially acquired immunity naturally acquired immunity is uh, divided into two one is active and the second one is passive while the artificially acquired immunity one is active and the second one is passive now what is active natural natural acquired active immunity so and this type of immunity the antigen enter in the body naturally and the body induces antibodies and especially lymphocytes so it mean that whenever the foreign particles or bodies in the form of antigen so they can attacks or they can get enter they can uh, enter in your body so your body it will must produce a, a certain type of response and that response may be in the form of antibodies and these antibodies are produced against antigens or it may be in the form of specialized lymphocytes while in passive naturally acquired immunity so the antibodies are passed from mother to the fetus via placenta or the infant via the mother milk so this is passive immunity while in this case artificially acquired immunity the first one is active and the second one is in active artificially acquired immunity the antigens are introduced and vaccines uh, for example vaccine in the body produce antibodies and specialized lymphocytes is the case we have discussed here now in passive artificial acquired immunity uh, we are going to perform to it means that uh, in passive immunity there are free forms antibodies and immune serums which are already present that are introduced by injections whenever we are going to inject something from outside immunity that is called passive and active immunity that is already uh, present in your body from the time of your birth this is the general classification of immunity so in previous study so in this lecture we have learned that there are two types of immunity one is active immunity and the second one is passive immunity and then we have discussed about adaptive immunity now here in this this is the general classification this is uh, uh, of the immunity so immunity can be uh, uh, classified into two categories one is innate immunity and the second one is acquired immunity 
so as we have uh, already defined that uh, the immunity it is the tendency or capability of the body uh, against infectious agents so immunity it may be innate or you can say it may be called acquired innate immunity is also called and burn immunity or it is also called uh, instinctive immunity you can say from the time of the birth and acquired immunity it is called adoptive immunity innate immunity it is innate means uh, immunity uh, from the time of birth this immunity is present already from the time of birth or you can say innate immunity innate immunity means um, is further divided into three groups one is specific the second one is non specific and uh, specific and non specific uh, so the first one is specific specific innate immunity mean which are you can say specific their type of immunity which are against specific anti antigen so here uh, we we can involve a special type of special type of antigen and a uh, foreign body which can attack from outside environment so here uh, the case is specific so we can uh, consider a specific microbe or specific antigen while in non specific so it mean that uh, this is against uh, you can say any any form of uh, uh, pathogens or antigen can attack on your body and it can um, stimulate your immune system one in acquired immunity it is divided into one is passive and the second one is active so in passive it is further divided into two so passive one is natural acquired immunity and the second one is artificial while here in active the one is uh, this is passive and this is active acquired immunity it is divided into natural artificial so in this case in uh, acquired uh, face your immunity or adopt your immunity but the natural one can be defined as in natural immunity it mean that uh, sometime from mother placental circulation to the fetus so this is the natural form of immunity natural form of immunity mean how this immunity can be uh, developed after whenever we are going to administer something from outside environment uh, in PSU immunity, uh, in artificial case, we are going to administer administration of the antitoxin or anti sera immunoglobulins from the outside. This is artificial, not natural. Now, in, the, in this case, in, in case of uh, active acquired immunity, uh, one is natural. So, the natural acquired immunity can be defined with the infection recovery as in actual disease. While in artificial, the immunization per in artificial, artificial active acquired immunity, immunization can be done in the form of vaccination. Further, I am going to explain uh, the immunological, the immunity classification that immunity can be classified into two categories. One is innate immunity, the second one is acquired immunity. So, innate immunity means the specific depends against specific pathogens, while in acquired immunity, this is non specific depends. The innate immunity it is further divided into two that is called first line depends and this is called second line depends. So, in first line depends, look at here. So, it is further uh, categorized into two. This is first, the first one is physical barrier and the second one is chemical barrier. What is physical barrier? And physical barrier, for example, skin and mucous membrane. So, uh, let us suppose uh, if we can take the example of uh, epidermis which is the outermost covering layer of the skin. So, in this case it means that skin show resistance against various kinds of pathogens skin can skin can protect your body from all kinds of microorganisms and mucous membrane it come under the category of physical barrier one is chemical barrier. So, in chemical barrier antimicrobial agents substances in the body fluids such as saliva mucus tears and gastric juice it come under the category of chemical barrier while in second line depends it is categorized into three groups one is cellular depends blood and uh, lymphatic system and molecular depends while the cellular depends is further categorized into this this one is pagocytosis pagocytes 
neutropel, basopel, eosinophil, and macropages. Look at here, and then uh, all these are all these are you can say these are the subtype of white blood cells, which are also called mobile units of the body, and they are continuously enlarged. So, with the help of phagocytosis, they can kill the microorganisms. They can continuously circulate in your blood cells and your blood. So, death of the dangerous microorganism can be occurs. Uh, this is blood and uh, lymphatic system. So, inshallah, it will be discussed in lymphatic system while the molecular depends. Uh, it will be also discussed in the next lecture. Uh, acquired immunity, this is called non specific defense or protections. So, it involves the lymphocytes. This is called third line uh, defense. First line defense, first line defense, second line defense, this is third line and third line defense lymphocytes they are involved. So, lymphocytes they are further divided into two, one is T lymphocyte and the second one is B lymphocyte. Now, what are T lymphocytes? So, T lymphocytes are called cytotoxic T cells or you can this is called cell mediated immunity while the B cells so they it, it produce humoral immunity the B cells you can say B lymphocyte it produce a uh, humoral immunity and T cells so it produce cell mediated immunity and T lymphocytes they are also called cytotoxic T cells. So, T cell produce cell mediated immunity and B cell produce humoral immunity cells produce antibody to fight foreign microorganism. So, in this chapter uh, we have uh, already talked about the uh, uh, different types of immunity and how the immune system can show uh, resistance against uh, infections and uh, inshallah um, in my next lecture uh, I will discuss about the uh, antigen and antibody that how these antigen uh, can attack on your body and how it can um, Mm, activate your immune system and how these anti how the antibody production there take place inside the body. Uh, thank you so much for watching my lecture.